gonna have a tribute to Trumpet Black from New Orleans. And y'all say, yeah! Yeah! Oh, the best memories I had of Travis when we was, uh, of course, we got wonderful memories of being together in New Orleans. And plus, I had some great memories of being here with him a couple of years ago, right here on the piazza, hanging out and jamming in Ascona, Switzerland. And uh, it's just so many great family memories of uh, me and Travis together. And then uh, he had a, a wonderful smile. I mean, it was just incredible to be around. He was fun, always upbeat, good straight person. Memories I have, the last memories of I had with uh, Travis was at the House of Blues in New Orleans. And it was me, Kermit Ruffins, and uh, Leroy Jones, and Wendell Bruners, and me and Travis. And we played together with the trumpet players. And it was, uh, it was incredible that night. And that's the last night we ever played together again. Just keeping his legacy alive and his memories alive through our music and our family. And we uh, just want to honor him in a great way because I know somewhere over here he loved this place and his spirit is here with us. Well, I think New Orleans is a uh, is revolving around into something else right now. But uh, we got so many different people that's moving to New Orleans and we got a lot of musicians that's saturating the city's culture. But for the most part, New Orleans music is played best when New Orleans people are playing New Orleans music. I think what young musicians should do is uh, never forget where the music come from and you must know where it come from to take it to where you want to take it. So I would say learn a little bit about the culture and the people that came before you and uh, apply that to what you got. I'll see y'all in New Orleans. <laughs>